It was a book? Why did I get my hair? No clue. <coughs> no clue. But you recently did it, so... Go for my alerts. You literally resubscribed for four months, three days ago. Yeah. No, Sam, don't you dare. The what? The, the bad nice. Thank you. The way those people... I... We tried to... But some of the other... Terramonic project. Some terror. It affects everyone. You kill the more. Let's do it. Matt's unlocked. Right, there we go. I don't know what the fuck happened there. God, no time to waste, Captain. Dash the EM and pull the firepower. Let's move! District. All citizens are required to proceed to the nearest shelter. You might back up. Don't just stand there. The remaining creatures locked down on the landing pad, but we're barely holding our perimeter. They said you've done this before, huh? Mm -hmm. Fire team to spin. Hey, what is that thing you and whatever supplies you need, but I it's a new mod. It's a it's a it's a vendor drone that you can call. So it's a portable vendor, basically. As best we can. Hold on. I think my <coughs> terramorph, terramorph, my terrifying terramorphs mod is making the random size not work anymore. I'm gonna 
so out of the load order. Man, man, what have you got on your whiskers? Go, come on, come on. Gotta clean those. Gotta keep those. No, gotta keep your. Gotta keep the whiskers. Come on. I'll be gentle. Yeah, there we go. Gotta keep the whiskers all clean. That's how you feel things. Over half their nerves are in their whiskers, so if their whiskers are damaged, oh, yeah. they're fucked. Mm. Fuck's sake. No, no. No, no, my game crashed, that's why I was saying fuck's sake. No. Carl, I love the fact that you can hear in my voice that I'm not normal. Where is it? I'll just shoot a fucking set of the grenades, BRB. Mm hmm. I wonder, well, I think they delete. I think they removed it. Hold on. Oh, no, it doesn't affect prayer box. Thank you. I 
Oh, it doesn't affect heat leeches anymore. That's also nice.
of well back there. Oh, it's a little dinky one. It was a little dinky termorph. I wonder what Jacob would think of a crow helping to save New Atlantis. New tiny boy. Damn if I'm not proud of it though. Yeah, it was a little dinky termorph, like a tiny one. Alright, you won't. Guess they weren't kidding about you two. You had best put the right people in the right place. Yeah. Hmm. Certainly doesn't feel like it. I don't want to think what would have happened if you two hadn't been here. Just glad we could rise to the occasion. Captain, we should report back to the president. Let her know the terror. Take care of yourself, Sergeant. Something. Okay. That's a relief to hear. Thank you, gentlemen. Let your people all know how much we owe them today. Captain? Cadran? It would appear that the cabinet owes you our thanks for what you did for the city today. As well as an apology. Your concerns about the Terramorphs will consider them validated. <coughs> Thank you, ma'am. Not only are you smart, but you're even more. Of course. I only wish we could have acted sooner. Now, mm. today's events have only clarified our path forward in the eyes of the cabinet. <coughs> you will have our full support in collecting the Terramorph data from the archives as well as a subsequent investigation into the nature of these attacks. But to accomplish those goals, we're going to need the right people in the right places. As such, the cabinet has authorized me to reinstate you, Hadrian, effective immediately. As soon as we've got the data in hand, we want you investigating these attacks and how- I, y yes, yes, ma'am, I'd be honored. Excellent. Yeah, me and Raven helped but as you've both made paint their expert like an investigation to understand the relationship yesterday in a, in a private chat. Yeah. Free Star Collective and House yeah. Varun to play ball. Someone who knows precisely the sorts of dangers the colonies and yeah. all the galaxy uh, the are facing right now. The cabinet wants you, Captain, to be that That's representative. I know. I know. We do. 
and exchange. We're willing to fast track mm -hmm. your citizenship upon collection of the data. So, will you help us? It has its perks. Only citizens can purchase property in the city. We also pay reduced prices on most goods. There's also a credit disbursement when you first, but above all, you'd become a dedicated part. Mm -hmm. Great distraction, sure. Now, we, of course, won't be sending you in without the proper support. Deputy McIntyre in the Office of Interstellar Affairs will be your guide on gaining access to the archives. You should be able to find her in her office mm -hmm. across the hall. And on behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our thanks. Yeah, I told him until Tuesday you're not in a great state right now, so he said he'd back off. Mm -hmm. a Vanguard captain. You, yes, sir. I'll make sure they get what they require. That must make you my Vanguard captain. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy That's Chief awesome. Diplomat McIntyre, Chief Yassine's yeah. second in command. I heard you were instrumental in protecting sure. the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. I was also informed that you gave quite the presentation to the cabinet. Chief Yassin wants you to know the Interstellar yeah. Affairs Office is fully committed to this endeavor. Accessing the Terramorph data and beyond. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure you have the tools you need. And that means first getting you into the archives. You do know what the archives are, correct? Hmm. Someone paid attention in current events. So, then you also know that it was originally managed by the three major galactic players. Access to the archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency and requires a one-time use code from each of the three armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people. The ambassadors of the Freestar Collective Get them both, and you'll have your data. But that's a lot easier said than done. No. Each is a strip of several million random numbers generated on the fly. They're impossible to create without those keys. And those keys stay with you. I couldn't agree more. However, both ambassadors have reasons they won't or can't work with us. Now, I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, It'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. And I do mean cooperate. Threats and violence are off the table here. Though that doesn't mean we can't get creative. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Who do you want to start with? Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar or Ambassador Balmore of House Varun? I will settle over it. Ah, the good Ambassador Radcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War, and her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Well then, hope she's doing a good job. Now, officially, 
Our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. And who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her code. Never underestimate the universe's ability to surprise. That's why we have Plan B. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the Ambassador's living quarters, which we suspect you can use to your advantage. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. So, if you are going to try and access the device, you're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. Now, we recovered some intel we believe should be able to help with that. But there's also a disgruntled staff member you might be able to pump for information. Maybe even convinced to work with you. Yes, many. Don't steal anything. Don't get caught anywhere you're not supposed to. Absolutely do not harm anyone. If something goes wrong, we'll do our best to smooth things over. But I can't make any promises. Name's Cameron Long. He's younger than Ratcliffe, bears less of a grudge towards the UC. He works closely with the Ambassador, making him a promising source for information on the ins and outs of Embassy life. And someone who very likely hates her guts. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up if you're on your way. Not likely. And take these. Chief Yassine wanted you to have some options on how to... Ambassador Balmore's... a challenge. When the rest of House Baroon retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the armistice, Balmore stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Baroon thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. Hmm. Well, these days, they're primarily considered a security threat. House Baroon Zealots, a fundamentalist outshoot of the group that stayed behind when the rest retreated into seclusion, want nothing more than to send everyone not dedicated to their cause to the Great Serpent in the Sky. But that hasn't always been the case. After they ended the Serpent's Crusade about 70 years back, House Baroon did take a real run at trying to normalize relations with the rest of the galaxy. It's why they have an embassy here in the first place, why they were included in the armistice negotiations. But then, without warning, they left, leaving behind, to our knowledge, just the ambassador and his duty under the armistice. Mm. It does. But there's a concern. We're not 100% sure Balmore is actually still alive. His public appearances were always rare. But it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. The Varun delegation brought more than a few of their native flora with them when they set up in the embassy. It seems those plants have been allowed to flourish, making it hard for us to verify what's flora and what's ambassador. The embassy is still legally House Varun's sovereign territory, so we're not technically permitted inside. We've snuck in the occasional spy, of course, but the ambassador... But... We're quite sure he hasn't left the city. Then you search the embassy for his biometric key, collect your code piece, and we'll go about notifying. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. I have no doubt. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. <laughs> this device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. 
And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy. Now, if you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her and her staff's mind. Be smart out there, Captain. Oh, I just realized I just spell a mistake in the fucking title. You gonna you gonna update? There we are. Right, so if anything non-lethal in you in freestyle. Okay, cool. Oh, fun. You are visitor? You'll find the ambassador. Visitors are only allowed in the lobby, offices, or conference room. That means you. Okay. Now it's 20 years. Always good to get back to free star soil, even if it is surrounded by New Atlantis. Oh, I n oh, I never cancel that anyway. As in more than one? All that security, and they still can't protect their own spaceport. The UC never fails to disappoint. I just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. Of course, ma'am. Uh, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, excuse me. Are you supposed to be in here? Official business? I'm sorry. Uh, Do you have an appointment? Also, I read that um, uh, they're, they're, they're looking, it looks like they're Ah, they're you're the one McIntyre called about. The eyewitness. She said you were at the spaceport. Europe. You have my thanks for what you did down there, truly. Saved many what do you mean? Lives. Now, she well, also mentioned so that, awful. and maybe it was just a bad connection, Marketing. that now the UC wants Terramorph I'm data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded in information in the galaxy, in, in order to protect us all. I can only right. presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you local hero. So in other words, only in the US. On their behalf. Tell me I Typical. Right. Typical. Ambassador, I can't emphasize how important this is. And who might you... Oh, I recognize that face. You're a co, aren't you? Didn't you run away to help that little explorer's club? Really? An explorer's club. Ma'am, I've signed up to help my friend here who's looking to stop a whole heap of needless pain and suffering. Yeah. Imagine if this happened in Aquila City or Neon. The results would be bad, or let's be honest here, far, far worse. We owe it to our people to do something. It's a disturbing thought, Mr. Coe. And while it is my job to protect the people of the Collective, 
The way to do that, I believe, is clear. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it really it's... Sucks. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Okay. Now, why don't you quit it. wasting my time and yours? We don't have any information. You're really going to push this? All right. I'm listening. Hmm. Toes do have a way with words. Imagine how it'd look if the next attack occurred in Freestar space. You know that for sure. That is interesting. You're not going to flatter me into acting against the Freestar. Captain, I'm sorry, but my... What the fuck is... Uh... Visitors are only allowed in the lobby of this location. Always good to get back to Freestar soil, even if it is surrounded by New Atlantis. All that security, and they still can't protect their own spaceport. The UC never fails to disappoint. I just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. Of course, ma'am. Uh, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, excuse me. Are you supposed to be in here? Guests can I'm make sorry. comfortable you... in the lobby. Ah, you're the one. You have my thanks. Now, she also... But now that you see... I can only presume you... Ambassador? I can... And who might you... Really? Ma'am, I've signed up to help my friend here, who's looking to stop a whole heap of... Imagine if this happened in Achilles. We owe it to her. It's a... Just the way to do... Let me be frank. I will not be the... You're really gonna I'm push this? I'm listening. Hmm. You know that? And if the United... Captain, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Are you supposed to be in here? Guests can make themselves comfortable in the lobby. I'm sorry. Do you have... Ah, you're the one. You have my thanks. Now, she all... But now the UC wants Terramorph data from me? I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't say... Ambassador? I... And who might you... Really? Ma'am, I've signed up. Imagine if this happened. We owe it to... It's a... just the way to do... Let me be frank. I will not be the... You're really gonna push this? I'm listening. Hmm. The warmongers of the UC will find a way to make... <laughs> hmm. I suppose you're right. Yeah, the persuasion that's been working didn't work. It's possible I might be letting my history cloud my judgment. Possibly. 
And those lives are in my hands. Well, Captain, you... you make some good points. But if I'm really granting you access, I'm gonna need the following concessions. Your access will be limited. You can only take out the items related to stopping these terramorphs. The monitors will make sure of it. You go in once. Uh. You get everything you need on your trip, and never again. And all research done with the data will be monitored. If this data is being used to save the galaxy, the galaxy needs to be involved in the oversight. Freestar scientists will watch your people like hawks. So, do we have an agreement? Excellent. Follow me. God damn horse. <laughs> You're allowed three places. Conference room, lobby, or the ambassador's office. If you set foot anywhere else, there's going to be problems. Tell me it should hmm. only take a moment. No, 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 no. Hmm. And there. Here, I'll reach out to Deputy McIntyre. We'll coordinate the necessary oversights. To unlikely allies, I guess. Let's say here. Together, I feel like we till later. Mm. I mean, is it supposed to look like this? With Varun, you just never know. Holy hell happened here. It just gets weirder and weirder.
Let me guess all the gas. Grab everything you see. Is it all the like bad gas or Oh no, you just mean you're doing something. I'm in the I'm in the Varun area, so it's a bit trippy, that's why I thought. Yeah, that's fine. Nice little dinky boy. Oh shit. Misclick. <sighs> what if I've missed a kick? This is my favorite part. <laughs> Raisin bro.
Seems punishment becomes providence. A reminder we can never truly know the Great Serpent's designs for us. You have my thanks, and my apologies for the ordeal you just endured. Come, let us discuss. the ideal introduction, I suppose, giving you a grand tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect the venom tree upstairs has worked itself into more systems than I'd realized. But then again, who could cage such a beauty? Eh? Tell me, though, what is it like outside? As the rest of the city suffered... I take it you didn't have such an experience where you were then, hmm? Yes, the entire embassy was thrown into lockdown. Trapping me in my quarters, disabling the Venom Tree's filters, and arming the defenses. A disconcerting experience, to say the least. Harmless spores, you have my word, but hard to navigate. Hence why I was guiding you through... It is the sap of the tree that gives it its... Well, <laughs> perhaps not a topic for this. But I must know of the rest of... Is that right, huh? I shall need to have these repairs seen to sooner rather than later. Now, it cannot solely be the serpent's grace that brought you here at such an opportune moment. You were sent by the UC. That much? And the broadcast spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and... Uh, ah, an archive code. So the UC requires information, then. On terror morphs, presumably. Hmm? Do I see this all clearly? Yeah, the preservation of life stands as the very purpose of... But, if I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy. With little success. In exchange for my code, I require this. You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. The knowledge you ask for isn't evil. No knowledge is. It is we who bend it to evil ends. Oh, you... Well, fortune pouches that are bent into hell, I like. For whatever it's worth, Sam Co here. Love that. You got my word, too. Well, then, I shall not fear. Please, follow me. Uh, let's hope it still works.
let it be used for good. You are seriously handy with those locks. Mm -hmm. You're back sooner than... Oh, oh wait. Did, did you actually <laughs> succeed? With Radcliffe and Balmore. Well, We're all in agreement. So the old man was still lurking around in there. Fine work, Captain. And now, I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Here, 
the UC code piece, and an archival access card. Absolute best be. Whatever. Okay. Hello. Are you training for some sort of weightlifting competition?
pardon? There you are. Captain? Deputy told me what went down. Impressive work. Captain, if you'd be willing to transfer the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing what comes next. Time for us to start getting some real answers and figure out if... So whenever you're ready... I... Yes. It will be. Percival and I have done our damage. This... This is us starting to put some things right. Acknowledged and accepted, Captain. So with the data out of the way, we've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. Though it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. The most important of which is getting you your citizenship. Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. Oh, that was easy. Hey, Aiden. Hmm. So, um, I want to ask you a question. Um, I just don't know if you want to do it. Hello. No, sure, go for it. Um, okay, so, <clears throat> so I have known for a long time. Uh, my favorite, one of my favorite I asked my boss what they're doing. Stop new alien attacks on the city. He said top minds were on it. But sure hope they know what they're doing. I only get the chance to see them based on ten years of back. It's been I think at least ten or twelve years now. He's coming to visit finally uh, in September. And I really want to be able to allow him out there. He doesn't stay for long anyway. All that. So do you think do you think that in September we would be able to maybe do some of this and ask a little bit? Yeah, I can give you some. Alright, that would be really cool. Alright, Captain. Really Are you ready to become mm -hmm. a citizen of the United Colonies? Anything, anything Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain. Through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good. Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? And then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here, your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. We've also let the Aphelion Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Now, the other item... Just 5k? Discuss. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a... sensitive position. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this, but we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs, and they've stated they'll only share it with you. They asked... So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. I'm sorry, I can't share. Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection 7. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you...
nice day now. You all right, Matt? Yeah. Hmm. So this is where the UC hides all the scary shit they're doing. What I'd give to have all the rangers with me right now. Ah, well, you'll have to tell me all about it later. Mm. Mm. Welcome, Captain. Please, come down and approach the intercom. You and I should chat. President Abeyo was kind enough to give me a few files to peruse. Quite the series of accomplishments you've managed. But now you face a foe unlike any other. An invisible enemy lurking in the shadows. You're going to need all the help you can get. Which is why I hoped we could speak. Receptive. Sanon, but most know me as they think this. I was an admiral during the colony war. One of its great villains, if you believe the slates. I was to be executed for my crimes, but the previous regime deemed me too valuable to simply discard. So they put me here, a sacrifice on the altar of peace. Even my death served the colonies. <laughs> Captain, please. There are no clean hands in galactic politics. We all do what we must to keep ourselves safe. Which, right now, means finding a way to protect the United Colonies and beyond from additional Terramorph attacks. An effort you and my progeny, Hadrian, have already made impressive progress on. Though I am curious, has she shared with you the nature of our...
After some long years earning the trust of this current regime, the UC has been permitting me to work alongside one of their recovery teams, helping them gather intelligence on locate and organize scenarios to lure in some of the criminals that evaded justice after the colony war with quite a few successes i might add but in the process i managed to find something else the names and locations of hadrian and percival's old research team valuable manpower for the effort you're about to embark on i'll tell you where they are but in exchange I need something dealt with. Continue whenever you like. of mine. 
a man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlais. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colonies' more problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. If it dealt death, he could make a deal more. When the colony war ended, he fled, refusing to face tribunal, and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him, however you're able. I'm not expecting he'll come. Bring me evidence that the job's done. You can certainly try, but the man's been out there 20 years. He's likely gone feral by now. Easier for all if you simply blow up his ship. Speak to Deputy McIntyre. I'm sure she'd be happy to hear that someone might be tying up this loose end at long last. Though I would ask you, do not make the mistake of confusing me for a simple cutthroat. If that's what you require to sleep at night, so be it. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria. Wolf system. There is a star station in the vicinity. A den. used to someone else riding camp on it personally I think we make a hell let's talk again soon Captain, did your uh, meeting go well? Surprised me too when I learned it, but the uh, prisoner has proven useful over the years and kept far from any major decision making. But I do think it's worth re emphasizing. Good. Because bringing this up to the outside world would create the unfair appearance, Captain, that you're unhinged. And that's not a good look for any of us. Now, was there right, something fucking friendly. Particular you needed to discuss about what we were just discussing? Dr. Reginald Orlais? He's finally found him. Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question. But bringing him to justice, he's been on the lam for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. Well, what's being offered in return? Really? He found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so... Now, was there anything else you wanted to discuss? Trusting the man downstairs would be a mistake, but I don't think you need to be too concerned. This is far from the first name he's handed over, and all previous missions went off largely without a hitch. So while I'd certainly warrant caution, oh. the den, well, it's a star station, orbiting wool. The first one was blown to smithereens by House Varun during the Serpent's Crusade. The place has always acted mm -hmm. as a remote strategic hub, primarily for repairing and refueling UC military vessels. But yeah. because of its distance from the rest oh, of the Oh, you're city, doing Dima. Things there have always been a little more lax. Patrols included. I can think of worse places in the galaxy for a criminal to hide out. Then I'll bid you good day, Captain. And remind you of the importance of discretion. Well. That's 
That's very good. Yes. Walk. Greetings, citizen. Welcome to the new sacred I think Mama's realised I'm not doing too well. He's just... He just walked up and sat on my lap and he's just started cuddling me now. Not talking about it yet. to restart the game.
so fucking badly, man. citizen. Welcome to the UC. Cora's already finished the pre-flight checklist. That's my girl. Out! Out! And away! Okay, good. If there's anything I can do for you, please say the word. Don't see new faces around here very often. Looking to lodge a complaint? Then you want UC security, not the Vanguard. Oh, apologies, Captain. Didn't recognize you without the uniform. So, what can I do for you? I think you got some bad information. Unless... Are you talking about the war? There's been rumor of a ship out there for years now. Doesn't respond to me. More than a few amateur investigators have... A theory is debris fields are plenty dangerous if... But if you're suggesting it might not have been the fields that got them... I mean... I honestly thought it was just a story board haulers told to amuse each other. But if the pilot of the warlock really has been dusting our people... Well, the original Den Star Station was destroyed decades ago during the Serpent's Crusade by marauding House Baroon Zealots. Big part of the remains from those battles ended up gathering around Etheria, forming a nasty debris field. Every now and then, some headstrong scrapper comes limping back because they hit an 80-year-old mine. Or sometimes they don't come back at all. 
Though, maybe it's not just... Sure thing. Here, this should get you pointed in the right direction. Good hunting. Very quiet engines. Ah, oh, there we go. Might just be the den. God. No, I'm gonna take your ship.
Oh, I've just realised that's the captain lock. It. Fuck off. Sweat. I'm like sweating. Not me. Not no one. Yo. Nope.
I barely slept last yeah. night. Okay. I'll be back. See you, dude. How do you even manage to carry all that? I'm not. I'm very over encumbered right now, Sam. Was he, was he muted or? They're nice. They are good. What? Well, to be fair, you you're asking a Scott if he likes deep fried Mars bar. It is literally a Scottish food. Hmm. 
Oh no. Oh, I don't have any kind of point or something, you never said. How the hell are you making me smile right now? Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's cargo. Raven right now. Why the hell? I don't have any... Oh shit! Got to put that in my... Up what? You able to play? You able to play Minecraft? Yeah. Give me a second. I'm going on the realm anyway. So. Yeah, <laughs> See, I knew it. That's why I'm coming on. Mhm. Mm oh, I might be able to add a few different mods on there because I've got it on this console. Which means if you're already on it, it might kick you. Huh? Matt is here. Matt, you there? Ah, oh, Matt died, okay, sorry.
The best way to say someone died. <laughs> Shit, it's the resource pack that won't work. What? Back in a bit, you can do some.
to figure stuff. No, I've got a. Group called modding. Oh, one now.